Lesson 16.2c, using a spreadsheet to find MAD, the mean absolute deviation. A spreadsheet is a piece of paper or a computer program used for accounting and recording data, using rows and columns into which information can be entered. Microsoft Excel is an example of a spreadsheet program. It's part of Microsoft Office Suite. OpenOffice is a full-featured free version that you can download. A spreadsheet can be used to find the mean absolute deviation, or MAD, of a data set. So this is what an Excel program would look like if you open it up. You'll see these letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, going across, and you'll see numbers coming down. The spreadsheet has columns coming down. This is column A, column B, column C, column D, and so on. And it has rows going across. This is row 1, row 2, row 3. And each of these boxes are called cells. And we can type in them. This is cell A3. It's where A and 3 meet. So that's cell A3. So we're going to find the mean absolute deviation for a set of data values. And we can choose to enter the data values across in a row. So we could put one data value here, another one here, another one here. So we'd use A1, B1, C1, D1, and so on. I chose to go down in a column. So I'm going to use the B column to enter my data values. And in cell B1 and B2, I typed names for my columns. I named this one data values and this one distance. Then I entered my data values going down. So here's the first value, the second value, the third value, and the fourth value. In cell A6, right here, it's A6, I typed the word average because I want the average to go right here underneath my data values. And in A7, A7, I typed the word mad because I want to have the mad from the distances, and that's going to end up going here. So let me show you. Now, our data values could have gone way down. It could have been like a 100 data values, but I'm just doing four to keep this video short, OK? So in cell B6, here's 6, here's B, I typed the formula. I put an equal sign, average, parentheses, B2, a colon, and B5. Then I hit Enter. So in this cell, underneath my data values, I typed in this formula. When I hit Enter, the program automatically found the average, or mean, for column B from cell B2 to B5. B2, B3, B4, B5. So by using this formula, it found the average of all the values that were in B2 to B5. And we have 3 and 525 thousandths as our average for these data values. Now I moved up to cell C2 under the word distance. We have C2. So in this cell, I typed the formula, equal sign, ABS parentheses, B2 minus dollar sign, B dollar sign, 6. And then I hit Enter. This formula is going to find the distance between our average and this value, 4.5. When I hit Enter, it automatically found the distance between the mean and this value in B2. Then I entered it for B3. So notice that this one, after the parentheses, had B2 because that was the distance we were trying to find was for B2 and the mean or average. Now we're in this one, we're trying to find the distance for B3 and the mean, the average. So now, instead of B2, I put B3 and then I hit Enter. And I repeated that formula going down column C 
changing which B cell I was finding the distance for. So now I'm trying to find the distance for B4. So my formula has B4 here now, minus dollar sign B, dollar sign 6. And then I hit enter, and it gave us that distance, 1.175. Then I did it for B5, so now the formula is B5 minus the dollar sign B, dollar sign 6. Then I hit enter, and then it gave us 0 0.725 for the distance between 2.8 and the mean, the average. Now, for the MAD, I went to cell C7, C7, where I typed MAD in this row, and I typed the formula equals average, parentheses, C2, colon, C6. Typing in this formula right here and hitting enter, it gave me the average of these distances, and that's the MAD. The value in cell C7 is the MAD, the mean absolute deviation. Now this was a very basic explanation of finding an average and a mean absolute deviation in Excel. Once you understand Excel and you get good at it, you'll find the shortcuts of highlighting all these boxes to find it and stuff like that. But this was just a real basic intro to Excel and finding the mean absolute deviation. We're finished with lesson 16.2 and we're moving on to 16.3, which is split into three parts. The first part is using a box plot. A lot of businesses use Excel spreadsheets to keep track of their purchases, their expenditures, their sales, and their income. And I hope this helped you understand. And I hope you have a great day and join me for the next lesson. Bye.